Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to GIS Madras. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to perform land surface temperature using Landsat 8 imagery. So we are going to use the tool called a semi-automatic plugin in order to perform the LST. So right now I am just using the Landsat 8 data that uh, I have uh, downloaded the Landsat collection 2 and level 1 data of Landsat 8. So this is the data I am using. So right now we just move into the uh, QGIS. Here you can find the option called as SCP on the top menu toolbar. So if you haven't uh, uh, know how to install the SCP tool in QGIS, I have put the link below as well as I have given the video in the card. You can just find the video and it is really uh, easy to install the semi-automatic plugin that is SCP. So just click on the SCP. Here you can find the option pre-processing. Under that we have to select the Landsat satellite series now you can see here this is the directory containing the so we need to specify the directory containing the landsat bands so we just move back to the file manager where i have downloaded and kept the image so this is the image of the uh, landsat 8 imagery landsat 8 satellite and just extracting the imagery so this is containing around uh, 11 bands so the thermal band is of uh, band 10 and band 11 so we are going to use the band 10 and band 11 for the performing LST so once it has been extracted we just move back to the analysis directly so it has been successfully extracted as you can see here and we just move back to the QGA section yeah here we need to specify the directory so I, am, I have extracted this file okay so this is the file which uh, sorry this is the folder in which the extracted images are are there so just select the folder once you have selected the folder the next thing is that we need to specify the mtn file so just uh, click the open file option here so you can see here once we have extracted the data you can see here so you can see there is a MTL this is the metadata I'm just opening and showing you here this is the metadata how it looks like so this is the MTL file you can see here so that can be opened using the notepad etc so we go we once again move back to the QGIS here we need to select this file MTL is just uh, look at this file and just open it so once you have opened the file now you can see that the uh, is sun elevation, the earth uh, sun distance has been updated. So now we are going to use only two bands here that is band 10 and band 11. Remaining will be removed. So I have selected from band 2 to band 9 using the shift button select all and just click here to delete the row. Yes. So finally we are going to remove the band 1. Yeah. Now you can see here there are uh, two bands available both are thermal bands band 10 and band 11. So the next thing will be we need to specify the brightness temperature in Celsius. Okay. So this is the next step. Once we have done it now we have to press the button run. So it will be automatically asking the result folder so we need to specify we need to create a folder or you can just roughly have a select a, any folder where the output will be saved so the process will be starting so you can just see here the QGIS window the process has been running on so the process has been successfully completed so the result file has been appeared so I will just show you here so you can see here so this is uh, band 11 and this is band 10 so I am going to opt the uh, band 10 for estimating the land surface temperature and here just uh, go to the option properties 
here we just change the color of the raster image so here under the band rendering select select the option and uh, come down here you can find the option continuous just select the equal interval and here you just uh, you can just specify the classes as well so right now i'm just uh, selecting five classes and i'm going to change the color ramp so in this case i'm going to use one of this uh, color sequence here it seems to be turbo that seems to be fitting with our yeah that uh, seems to be fitting with our analysis Okay, I have just uh, opted the darker blue and let me change this color as well. Okay, I have selected the color sequence. I am just applying it. And you can see here. So this is the output. As you can see, these are the hilly regions. So that is uh, much colder. And uh, you can see the land land part that is uh, much hotter. And you can also find the river. Actually, the river is also warmer. It doesn't. Uh, mean that it is river so these are the sand sands which is uh, available on the uh, river bank so the uh, so this region will be much hotter comparatively so i am going to bring in the layer stack image in order to see the verify the result so here go to the option add raster You can just see here, this is the stack image. So I'm just selecting the stack image. I'm just adding to the layer in order to verify the result. So as you can see here, this is the natural color. And you can find the settlements over here. And this is the river bank where the sand deposits can be seen. So that has been uh, represented in white, in white color. So I'm just uh, removing the stack layer. You can find the difference. So likewise, you can see here. So where there is water, there is uh, having a less of uh, heat. So these are the sand uh, deposits. So that is uh, that's on the river. So I'm just changing it to the false color composite. Here I'm just changing the band combination. Four, three, two. So you can see here this is one of the false color composite. So the result is accurately came. So if you have any other doubts in doing the land surface temperature, you can just ask in the comment section. I will be answering to your questions. So thanks for watching JS Madras. Once again, thank you very much. Bye.